Iran's JS-313, from stealth fighter mock-up to naval drone. Remember the Kahir-313, Iran's supposed stealth fighter that raised eyebrows worldwide? Well, it's back, but this time as something quite different. The JS-313, a jet-powered naval drone. Let's dive into this transformation and what it might mean. The Kahir-313, first surfaced in 2013, touted as a cutting-edge stealth fighter. However, its small size, unusual design features, and questionable cockpit layout led many to believe it was more of a mock-up than a functional aircraft. Images and videos released at the time showed the aircraft taxiing, but never truly flying in a convincing manner. The project was largely dismissed by many analysts as a propaganda effort to project an image of advanced military capabilities. Now, the Kahir 313 has been reborn as the JS-313, an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, designed for naval operations. This transformation is significant, potentially addressing some of the limitations of the original design. By removing the need for a human pilot, the design constraints are loosened. The JAS-313 can now focus on fulfilling specific mission requirements, such as reconnaissance, surveillance, and potentially even strike operations. Details about the JAS-313's capabilities remain scarce. However, its jet-powered design suggests a focus on speed and range, potentially allowing it to cover large areas of the Persian Gulf and surrounding waters. As a naval drone, the JS-313 could be deployed from ships or coastal bases. It could provide real-time intelligence, track enemy vessels, and even act as a decoy or a kamikaze drone in asymmetric warfare scenarios. The introduction of the JS-313 raises several questions about its impact on regional security. While its actual capabilities are still unknown, its existence demonstrates Iran's continued investment in drone technology. The drone could potentially enhance Iran's ability to monitor maritime traffic, project power in the region, and deter potential adversaries. It also adds another layer of complexity to the already tense security environment in the Middle East. Despite the claims surrounding the JAS-313, skepticism remains warranted. Iran has a history of exaggerating its military capabilities, and the drone's true operational effectiveness is yet to be proven. However, it's important to acknowledge that even a limited capability can have a significant impact in the right circumstances. The JS-313, regardless of its ultimate performance, represents a tangible step in Iran's drone development program. The transformation of the Kahir 313 into the JS-313 naval drone is a fascinating case study in military adaptation and perception management. While questions remain about its true capabilities, it's clear that Iran is committed to developing its indigenous drone industry. To stay informed about the evolving military landscape in the Middle East, subscribe to our channel for in-depth analysis, share this video with your network to spark discussion, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement helps us provide valuable insights into these critical developments.